remember hearing that too, though. What? No. Didn't someone get arrested at the mob gas? Did you get a sequence? Yeah. How'd it come out? Wow. Did it really? <laughs> Been doing photography for about five or six years now, but really just professionally for like the last year or so. The biggest problems I had to deal with when shooting skate photos are security it's always a huge issue time time's always against you if i need to set up flashes and other equipment it takes a lot more time for me to set that stuff up than it does for someone who's videotaping you just pull the camera out i gotta set up at least three flashes every time and get the correct exposure and figure all that stuff out and um, by then maybe they've landed the trick because they're a really good skateboard and they're feeling it that day or um, maybe security's been alerted so we're already getting kicked out and I haven't even set my stuff up. But definitely time and security are the two biggest thing, problems or issues that I have to deal with. Style wise, if like how they look in a photo, definitely John Coyne or Tom Cooper just because they're really clean and I like their styles a lot. But as far as personality, uh, Serge Murphy because he's just a good kid and he's happy or Justin Clement when you're talking about difficult situations that I face when shooting escape photography uh, I'd say this was probably one of the most difficult I've faced so far basically what we did was we tried to go uh, to the spot in Boston and um, my friend Justin wanted to get a trick and we were cut for time because uh, security was coming, so we got the boot. But basically what we do is we get two, three minutes of him trying, we'd leave, go around the building, chill for maybe a couple minutes, come back around, try and shoot it again, leave, come back around, try and shoot it again. Difficult with this spot is not only security, but where he's landing is in the street, so we had to have someone watching for traffic too, so he didn't get taken out by a car. And skateboards aren't the quietest thing in the world, so it obviously attracted attention. We got some crowds forming around us across the street and whatnot, uh, passerbys. Taxi cab kept pulling up and uh, wanting to park right where he was landing, so I had to kind of coax them to move forward or move along. Um, and it's on a sidewalk, so you have people walking through. It's, it's not a fun situation, but it's definitely uh, exciting and uh, keeps you on your toes. And he didn't land in. <laughs> that too, unfortunately. So that means we have to go back at some point and try it again. Try it the same situation. What do you say to you? Give me your board. Going, he said, fuck you. Going, He's like, fuck me? I'm like, yeah, fuck you. I'll give me my board. Here is a photo of my friend John Coyne. This one was a little bit better. It was actually kind of a blessing. It was at a MIT. Usually every time I've gone there we've gotten the boot from security but luckily we were able to stay there long enough. He was able to warm up and get a feel for the spot so he felt more comfortable. There wasn't really any rush. I had enough time to set up the equipment I needed, my flashes and stuff and so I was able to get I think a pretty good photo so it was a lot easier than the previous spot. Uh,